Let me ask you this. So as we go into 2024, you know, the, the old saying, are you better off than you were four years ago? That will be a question next year. I honestly, and I'm being objective as I can, I cannot right. think of a single policy success. Uh, uh, any policy that has benefited the American people of Joe Biden. That's number one. Can't think of anything, huh? Well, I'm curious then, what sort of policy initiatives are Republicans working on? Article two of the Constitution requires that the executive branch, which includes the Secretary of Homeland Security, ensure the laws passed by Congress and signed into law by the president are faithfully executed. Alejandro, Alejandro Nicholas Mayorkas, in his inability to enforce the law, has engaged in a pattern of conduct that is incompatible with his duties as a civil officer of the United States. Alejandro Nicholas Mayorkas thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal from office, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office, trust, and profit under the United States. Got it. So nothing. The Biden-Harris administration expansion of the welfare state abolishes work ethic and promotes a new generation of government dependency. I've lived under government dependency, and I'm thankful that I have broke free of that cycle, given my life experiences and developing work ethic. Wait a minute, so you benefited from welfare programs and food stamps, but now you don't want anybody else to because it promotes laziness. So what happened to you? How did you learn to become so hardworking? Maybe it's because you weren't worried about when you're gonna get your next meal, Lauren? I love how she said all of this and thought she said something profound by using her own personal experiences. Honey, your personal experiences are an advertisement for the value of those programs. She's one of the leaders of this extreme mega movement. She, along with every single Republican colleague, voted against the law that made these investments and jobs possible. And that's not hyperbole, that's a fact. And then she voted to repeal key parts of this law. And she called this law a massive failure. You all know you're part of a massive failure? <laughs> Tell that to the 850 Coloradans to get new jobs in Pueblo and see us win thanks to this law. Well, look, nobody ever accused Biden of being the best speaker, most charismatic president of all time, but we must give the man credit. I mean, Republicans are attacking him by comparing him to FDR. One of the greatest presidents of all time. They're saying, look at Biden. He's turning us into socialists by rebuilding our infrastructure and putting people back into work <laughs> and, and investing in renewable energy and making sure that kids that go to school uh, get free lunches. God forbid we end child food insecurity in this country, the wealthiest country in the world, and we have kids that are still hungry, and Democrats want to do something to address that, and they call that socialism. It's a joke. Seriously, if they're so against everything the Democrats do, what have they proposed in the last decade? Besides, of course, limiting the rights of women. I'm serious. Propose something other than reversing everything. Donald Trump said he was going to get rid of Obamacare and replace it with what? <laughs> he said he was going to build a wall. Where's the wall? We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. Anyway. I want to go back for a second to the Lauren Boebert thing, because this to me is indicative of the GOP. They want everything for themselves and nothing for the rest of us. And by the rest of us, I just mean all of us, including their own constituents, who they have made to believe that any time they ask for something in return for their tax dollars, that is socialism, that that is a handout. It is not a handout. If you are a working person in this country and occasionally you need help from the government because you got hurt on the job, God forbid you say, you know what, I need health care. That's not socialism. That's you putting in your time, your blood, sweat, and your tears for a company and ensuring that that company has your back. Republicans are against unions, yet somehow they want everybody to be committed to their jobs. It's a joke. 
Lauren Boebert said she's a product of welfare and food stamps, and now she doesn't want anybody else to get that? Really? So she was able to walk through some doors that America opened for her, and she wants to close those doors right behind her so that nobody else can walk through those doors? I find that to be very, very interesting. Seriously, Republicans, propose something. Instead of just attacking Biden for being like FDR, my God, if that's the case, he has my vote. I'm David Balaban for Rebel HQ. Have a nice night or day.